Prime Minister Tihomir Oreshkovic is off to Brussels later today for a two-day meeting of the heads of the European Union and Turkey regarding the resolving of the migrant crisis. There are many concerns being voiced in the lead-up to the meeting, including much uncertainty and division among the EU members regarding the agreement with Turkey. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague is holding a hearing on the issue of the Croatian-Slovene border dispute today, although Croatian representatives will not be in attendance. Croatia withdrew from the arbitration process after it was revealed that the Slovene side had been trying to illegally influence the court's judgment in its favour. The proposed Minister of Veterans Affairs, Tomo Medved, addressed the Parliamentary Committee for Veterans Affairs earlier today. Medved answered questions from committee members and MPs and was given full backing of the committee members. The appointment of the new minister will only be voted on by MPs without prior discussion. This is expected to happen on Friday. The Workers' Trade Union of Croatia has filed criminal charges for alleged fraud at the Shibenik TLM Metalworks. They're claiming an embezzlement amounting to some 30 million euro. Last week, the TLM Metalworks has been taken over by its new Slovene owner and some 210 workers had returned to work. The reason for the charges being filed at this time is the concern that the bankruptcy proceedings currently in progress could mask the criminal activities that had been carried out earlier. And turning to culture, Mira Furlan, the legendary Croatian actress who has been absent from the theatre for years, was back on stage last night at the premiere of the Cassandra piece by German author Christy Wolf and directed by Nadia Kokotovic at the Croatian National Theatre in Rijeka. The famed Croatian actress, who had forged an international career, has recently joined the Rijeka National Theatre Ensemble. And in sports, in soccer, in the first game of the Croatian Football Cup's quarterfinals, Dinamo Zagreb beat Hajduk at its own stadium and split two goals to nil, making a big step towards the finals. And Croatian tennis player Marin Cilic is through to the quarterfinals of the ATP tournament in Indian Wells following his victory over Frenchman Richard Gasquet in three sets. This marks his biggest success at the tournament and also his first victory over Gasquet. Cilic faces Belgium's David Goffin in the next round of play. Turning to the weather, a mostly sunny afternoon, some passing cloud possible at high elevations and in the northern inland sections. Bora along the coast will lose force and will turn to westerly and southwesterly winds in the south and to southeasterly in the open. See slight moderate in the open. Top temperatures between 8 and 13 degrees inland and up to 17 along the coast. Cool mornings expected in the coming days inland, but it will warm up in the course of the day. Some fog possible morning side, but will dissipate later. Partly or prevalently sunny during the day, with Friday seeing most of the sunshine. Winds mostly light, moderate northwesterly in the northernmost parts and in Slavonia and Baranya on Saturday. Lots of sunshine expected along the coast with some light cloud and the southernmost sections with the possibility of a few raindrops. Mornings will be cool but it will become pleasantly warm during the day. It's light, moderate, northwesterly in places. Friday we'll still see some bora in the north. <laughs>